tell me how excited you guys were to finally get to Cosmo Canyon in this game. Today, we're going to be going there, have a little fun along the way, and it's going to be great. I'll see you guys in the comments. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Send up smoke and we'll be right with you, folks. Bronco Airlines. Bronco Seriously? Airlines? Guess so. So, find anything? Yeah, we gotta send up smoke. Tiny Bronco? Like, with a fire? Wait, you've never heard of smoke signals? Wow. What do they teach you in Midgar? Enough. <laughs> well, leave it to someone who knows more than just enough. You'll be to the rescue. This isn't taking too long. But I can speed things up. <laughs> Come to me, airplane. Follow the smoke! Come to, Come me. to me, airplane. airplane. Follow, Follow the smoke! The smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Aerith. What? Look! <gasps> right on cue! <laughs> Well, I'll be damned. Don't tell okay. me. Speed things up. <laughs> Over here! Don't tell me. I'm not prepared for this. I thought we were going to Cosmo Canyon. Bravo, son! <laughs> oh, shit! Folks, <laughs> Cosmo Canyon, please. <laughs> you talk? The hell kind of magic trick is this? <clears throat> uh, not that I ain't seen crazier shit on my travels. Now, how many of you we got? Oh, too many. <sighs> But the old girl likes a challenge. <laughs> ah, I didn't think we were With gonna run into him already. I'd say this is fair. <laughs> and since I don't have much else going on, I'll be here scratching my ass to y'all pony up. <sighs> okay, this is my first time really seeing what he looks like in this game. Um. I think it's gonna take a little bit getting used to because he looks younger and less rough than I have always kind of envisioned him. If that makes any sense? Like younger than I was expecting. I thought the voice would be a little bit deeper too. How old do you expect 30s to look? Well, I just not, I mean, just based on his when I had the manual and his character portrait, the concept art or whatever, he looked older than 30s. Like, so I just, in my head, I've always envisioned him to be like, I don't know, maybe like in his 40s or something, because that's how he looked. I mean, I'm not complaining. He's He's got a very handsome face. I just expected him to look a little, quite a bit older. <laughs> Anyways, I'll pay you the fee. Let's do it. I have money. Let's see where this goes. Much obliged. Hop on board and sit where I tell you. Got to make sure my baby's balanced just so. Tiny Bronco. Hold on tight now, you hear? Fall out, you're on your own. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Yeah! <laughs> Tiny Bronco, hi! <laughs> Did this thing even fly? <laughs> We're flying! No shit, kid. Who do you think I am? Sid Highwind! President and pilot of Bronco Airlines, Sid Highwind. Pleasure having you aboard. Oh. 
I'll I hold you. I didn't expect to find a willing participant. <gasps> Is that Roche? <laughs> you are truly a model soldier, my boy. I'd hold still if I were you. We wouldn't want any complications. No, Professor. What are you doing, Rose? <laughs> Since you're so committed, I'm going to give you a special treatment. One that will surely make you into a hero. Don't listen to him. Once, this would have taken years. But now, now it takes a mere 18 hours. All thanks to me and my singular genius. I stand at the forefront of science, my brilliance a guiding light. How can he see all those needle of course, fingers and ears must be ready to do what be okay with this? Not. Is that Though a even Genova I cell? Would dare attempt to improve upon perfection. <laughs> Roche, you were supposed to be just our weird rival that's kind of a bro, but not really. And now you're going to turn into some sort of monster, I bet. Well, who cares about that right now? We're on the tiny Bronco. Cosmo Canyon. <laughs> We're here. Oh my God. I just, I have to imagine. Uh oh. What? What? Oh, <laughs> what? Planes would be okay. But no. Not in here. Open a window. <laughs> hey, see it. Yeah? You're not worried about flying around in the open like this? What if Shinra sees us? Shinra don't own the skies. Shitheads couldn't <laughs> stop me even if they tried. <laughs> I think you and me are gonna get along just fine. <gasps> We're getting pretty close now. Red must be so excited! Now, I don't think I'm the only one that can say that Cosmo Canyon is a very beloved uh, location in this game. Oh, chapter oh, 10! We're here. Good. So excited. <laughs> Hope y'all don't mind walking, because now you're on your own. What about the next time we need a lift? Hmm. Send up a signal. Just make sure I got room to land. Happy trails to you. That's it. Don't leave. The veil's this way. It's like, come on, let's go. Let's go see Grandpa. Let's go see my home. Inspect the telephone booth at an airstrip to send up a smoke signal and call the tiny Bronco. After alighting, the pilot will happily fly you to any airstrip you have visited before for the right price. 1,000 gil for your inaugural trip and 300 gil for sub subsequent flights. Dude, I would pay 10,000 every time. Maybe that's a bit too much. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Cosmo Canyon. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, 
and the my memory of the og as you guys know is hazy at best and, and especially in certain parts especially in order of events but you meet in the og you meet sid like after cosmo canyon right like rocket town is like after cosmo canyon yeah okay <sighs> were you guys really excited when you saw bronco like i did on the screen There should be two chests around here. Where are they at? Here's one. interesting version of this song oh. very different vibes from normal oh i see it i got you at where we're at here whoa oh we have a ways to go guys homeward bound just like the movie and red is like shadow and kate sith is like sassy and then mm, yuffie can be chance <laughs> I love that movie. Homeward Bound is great. Great movie. It was one of my favorites. Haven't seen it since I was a kid, though. You know? It's been that long. Look! A chocobo ranch! That make me so happy. Shani. Hey, so I've been meaning to ask you something. You said old Sephiroth's come back from the dead. Look right? at red. And that that's a bad <laughs> thing. So what I want to know is, how do you do it? And what's he after? He wants to save the planet. But wouldn't that make him a good guy? It's not what he's doing with how. He doesn't give a shit if everyone dies in the process. Sounds like a total nutter. I mean, there's not much point in having a planet if there's no one left to enjoy it, is there? That said, let's not forget that we still got a whole nother problem. One that's reared its ugly head time and time again. Bunch of assholes who won't stop till they bled the planet dry. Send them. Hmm? <laughs> to hit them where it hurts, we'll need to leverage those connections of yours. But if you even think about stabbing us in the back, I'm gonna hug and squeeze you to death, you hear me? What are you think we are? Oh, 
Cosmo Canyon, here we come! I can't wait, I can't wait, Rocky, I can't wait, guys. I don't see it yet. Ooh. Ooh. There's some like ruins over there, it looks like. That's the whole area we're going to be exploring, basically. All out there. <gasps> there it is! I see it! <laughs> there it is! Ah! Ooh, look. Wow, this place looks so crazy and cool. <laughs> for his power abilities. What do you mean by power abilities? Exactly. Like what, what, where does Kate Sith shine? Like which, which things can you do with him that are just like really good? Damage wise, stagger wise, building AP. Like how am I supposed to do this? How do you build AP with him? I'm ATB, Behold, sorry. Cosmo Canyon, a sacred sanctuary where the planet's greatest minds gather. It's beautiful. More than I ever it imagined. Is. It Come is. Come on, let's pick up the pace. I can hear it calling my name. Yeah, me too. Me three. It's saying cloud, cloud. Wow. Wow. Definitely a lot, a lot more expansive than in the OG. Oh gee, it was pretty, pretty small. I mean, once you go like kind of inside, there's, there's a lot of places to explore, but look at all this. Ah! He can add to stagger bonus like Tifa, like just not as good as her. Well, like the only reason you used him was to get the 300% stagger bonus trophy where Tifa did most of the work. Okay. I like how red is always at the front of this um walking over to here like he's i mean he's he is guiding us right but i just i'd like to imagine that he's just so excited and he's like come on guys come on let's go don't be so slow
I've been dreaming of this moment ever since the remake. Uh, hey, guys! It's me! Come back! Nanaki? I can't believe it. It really is you. Ah, uh, your voice changed. So worried. Oh, come on. Whoa. Ugh. Now, why don't you go pay your respects to fellow Bugenhagen? Come on. What? <laughs> uh, you can let them through. They're good people. I promise. What the fuck? After all, fuck? they're the reason I'm here. What in the hell was that? <laughs> hey guys, it's me. Who? <laughs> Who the fuck was that? He's such a softy. Real quick, gotta check something. An airship dropped these on us this morning. Wanted posters of the terrorists who bombed those reactors. Don't worry. It's all taken hmm. care of. Huh. But I think we can say you had nothing to do with all that. Even if Nanaki hadn't vouched for you, it's obvious. <sighs> Welcome to the sanctum of planetology, Cosmo Canyon. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. The music! And most importantly, new Queen's Blood players! Will I be able to see Don't my cards through my tears? <laughs> my pleasure. Are you about to head out on patrol? Yeah. Look after this place while we're gone. I will! You be careful out there, and may the- Where do we want to go safe. first? Up here? <laughs> Look at this place. It's so amazing. I can't even go here. Barrett, why are you ruining Nanaki's home? <laughs> Can you believe it? Nanaki's back. Nanaki, whatever. I always called him Nanaki. Let's see. Something else I'm gonna have to get used to. Oh, it looks like there are no shops or anything that available. Coaster? Pictures look nothing like us. Must be that way for a reason. We gotta keep on our toes. We gotta progress the story before we can really um, dig into this place, I think. We've got live music. And we of it. As such, the life with which she has blessed us is a gift that must one day be returned. To nurture your spirit is to nurture the spirit of the planet. And so, I implore you, brothers and sisters, do not neglect your studies, nor your prayers. Through your diligence, you will find true fulfillment. Uh, yeah, Lamb, the, um, the voice change really caught me off guard. <laughs> Because I maybe I just missed it. So obviously in the original there's no voice acting. So everything that they needed to convey convey about somebody's personality would have to be through animations and through dialogue only. But I don't remember Red's personality changing a whole lot when I went through this section when I played it. But maybe I just didn't catch on to the the clues that the game was trying to give me or maybe they just kind of really leaned into it here like a lot i don't know what's all this Avalanche around here, huh? 
complicate my research. We're at the Cosmo Canyon Cloud. Yes, we are, Chad. Please. dream of mine has finally come true. Give me a hug. Planetology rejects our Mako-consuming society, insisting that we have much to learn about this world. And now, we have the opportunity to share in their planetary knowledge. Yay! I hope you won't mind my mentioning, but I've observed that world intel collection is stalled of late. I'm certain, however, a veteran mercenary like you would never abandon a task. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. Excuse you? I just completed the previous area 100% and then came straight here. You are tripping, kid. I don't appreciate that. Oh, there's a festival gonna happen? The River of Lights! No! Oh, just reminds me of like Tangled. Ah! Tangled makes me cry every time. I think only see I've only seen the movie like once, but it made me cry. Okay. No, Rocky, don't sing the song in my chat, please. I can't handle it. Torch elevator? Undergoing maintenance? No. I want to explore all the places. Okay, let's go find Red. I'll have plenty of time to explore. I just want to do it now. I gotta go this way. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. Today's our anniversary, my love. It's beautiful. Wow. Ours is the most story. I couldn't have imagined anything better. Welcome to the Silver Inn. Wonder if they have to worry about me. All right, we're going to come back to It's so Cozy down here in this cave. I just love the vibe. It said that I was born and raised here in this canyon. I was to become a watcher of the veil like those before me until I was taken by Shinra. Your voice changed back. Now that I'm home and have repaid my debt to you, I plan to serve my village once more. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Thank you. We're really gonna miss you, Red. Oh, don't say that. You're only making this harder. <laughs> I mean, I wish we had more time, but this is my duty. <laughs> this I is suppose so weird. it was your duty to act the old man. <laughs> I wanted you to treat me as an equal. Not a dog. Not a pig. Is that you, my boy? Who can hug him? This is so, so wonderful. Was that goodbye? <laughs> the clown's uh, like, I don't know what I'm the sure fuck's we'll going on. The, <laughs> the real question is, why'd we come here? To learn the secrets of planetology. Come on. Let's Can't learn get that material. the secrets of planetology. Ah, that will do. I'm gonna steal some shot eye if you don't mind. Then we can see the sights. <sighs> A 
Okay. Let's keep progressing the story. Just as all things begin. I want to look at these rock formations. I want to um I don't know. I don't know what I want. Learn well. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Okay. I feel like the 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 music needs to be a little more punchy in my face. high up oh wow wow that is a view Woo. ah not so fast sorry but visitors aren't allowed in here you see this is where we keep all our valuables but i don't know if you should say that <laughs> shouldn't just give out that information to everybody. Telescope. Oh my god, this is... Dude, I would be freaking out. I would not feel safe. Would you guys feel safe? I would not feel safe. Like, what if a really strong gust of wind came and just tore this this place up? What's that? Stuff down there. Ooh, it's so green. Why is there a fire hydrant? <laughs> These are the friends I was talking about. <laughs> Thank you for looking after my monkey. My name is Wolkenhagen. I teach planetology here in the canyon. One could say I know a thing or two about our world. A thing or two? I doubt there's a thing or two you don't know about it. <laughs> Well, it might seem that way to a child like yourself. I'm not a child anymore. I'm 48. 40 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nanaki here has a long life ahead of him. In human terms, I would say he's about 15 or 16 years old. He's like the youngest That's of more all than of us. Old enough. I can protect our veil and everyone in it. <laughs> well, Which is more than how does you begin? Good for nothing father. Oh. Speaking of the members of our little community, have you announced your return to one and all, Namaki? Not yet. Be right back. Hmm. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come in and have a look around. Love the hair. The feathers. <laughs> The giant marble. We have a really intense water system going on here. I guess you would need it to feed to water all these plants. For all these people. 
if we've Where's... anything to fear, it is not our fellow man, huh? nor any creature big or small with whom we share our home. Look! It is that which comes from beyond the confines of this world, that which disrupts the natural order, the other which may attempt huh? to claim and consume the planet. And so I bid you, her children, to join hands and come together, for united, we shall never succumb to fear of celestial calamity. So nice here. The music's super chill right now, too. He never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you have served to enlighten him. Hi, Eternity, momentarily. Oh, that's a big materia. Yeah, that makes sense. We have Professor Gas to thank for a full half of the research materials archived here. Professor Gast. Is that the first time they've mentioned him in this? Or no, Hojo probably has. Or Sephiroth. I don't remember. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> have my devices piqued your curiosity? They are essential to my studies of the planet. What do we have here? That records fluctuations in various energies. I must ask that you handle it with care. It's a rather delicate device, you see. Anarchy never had much exposure to the outside world. I can only hope his travels with you. I never thought you could become even more enchanting. And yet, it's like you're free. I'll find a way to bring out the full depths of your beauty. Cross my heart. While that may appear to be little more than a glistening mineral at a glance, it is in fact a crystallized collection of our planet's memories. This is really cool that they're giving us a little tour of like all his little, his collection of everything. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, those devices are testing the pull of gravity. What the heck? What devices? Look at the chocobo on top of the book, the pile of books. <laughs> and what is this here? An airship? I thought you could become even more. And yet, it's like you're singing to me. That's not the high wind, right? Because we saw the high wind. Did it look like that? We saw it briefly at Junon. That's a scale model of our planet and the surrounding stars. One could say the dust it's collected represents the people who live upon it. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. Man. Look at this place. You can tell that they put the the artists and the whoever is in charge of all of this. Artists, 
Um, environment builders, etc., etc. I don't know anything about making games, but you can tell that they put a lot of time and care into this this particular place right here. Look at this skeleton. Here we seek to gather the wisdom of the planet. We've all been worried sick about Nautiki, fellow Bugenhagen chiefly among us. <sighs> Wow, this is so amazing. I can't, I can't handle it. What are you doing in there? <laughs> you recognize that little scamp? Of course they do. Uh, you know that in his childhood, Nanaki was quite a handful. Well, he's been very useful and helpful to us. Oh, <laughs> my, they are essential to my studies of the planet. That is one of the first Marco detectors ever built. Looks like a mousetrap. Hmm, no, I suspect it can't detect much now. Look at all this. What is this? Contraption. Up and up we go. There's still so much more to explore. What's this? That right there is a type of a current generator. It harnesses the power of the wind to produce new airflows of its own. Perhaps you've encountered them before during your travels. Yes. Unfortunately, I have. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have. Here's the big old telescope. The lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and space. To gaze at the stars is to gaze into their past, what they once were eons ago. Can't say I'm all that interested in the future, but that's just how we're wired. Humans can't help but fixate on the past, on what used to be. Is that true? Yeah? Do, do you think humans fixate more on the past Nothing. than the future? Complex as the I think that's true. Always looking back, regretting, yearning for better times, wanting to go back and fix decisions or mistakes that we made. Mm-hmm makes sense when you think about it for even just a second. Oh, oh, oh. You won't find a larger telescope on the planet. I should With think it, not. You can see to the edge of the galaxy. There's no better view of the stars than through this scope. <laughs> but the lens could do with some cleaning. My apologies. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to be easy to clean that. <laughs> the lights we observe here have traveled to us from the far reaches of time and okay. space. To gaze now what? The stars is to gaze into their past, what they once were. Where did Nanaki go? Hmm. That again, huh? It 
It's a phonograph. <gasps> That's weapon. The planet crying out. A sorrowful dirge indeed. One I've heard all too often of late. This tubing allows us on the surface to hear the inner voice of the planet. What we just heard didn't come from the planet, though. That was definitely the voice of a weapon. Hmm. You seem awfully sure of yourself, miss. Well, she was swallowed because we by saw one. Them with our own eyes. Two. In the Corel and Gungaga reactors. They were loud and huge. <laughs> A fascinating account. Were it true? It is true. However, such grand delusions could be a sign of Marco poisoning. Do see a doctor. Um, excuse me? Oh, oh. Yes. That would do them some good. <laughs> Judging from everything you've said, the three of you are unfamiliar with basic planetology. Well, please enlighten but us, it then. it is never too late to learn. Please, come with me. Uh, this is one of the most iconic parts of this game. Uh, there's so many iconic parts, though. But this looked amazing in the OG. And I just can't imagine how it's going to look here. Sent to you our planetarium. Mm -hmm. While the Shinra building features the latest iteration, this particular one is my original design. Now then, without further ado. Yes, yes, yes. Simply the study of the cosmos and the celestial bodies that dwell in it. Rather, it is a quest to comprehend the cyclical nature of life. Behold, the planet we call home. It was from its soil, so teeming with life, that mankind was born. And like all living things, man is fated to die. So, what happens next? The body withers and returns to the planet. But what of the mind, the spirit, the soul? Much like its former vessel, it too returns whence it came. To the great river where all intertwine and circle the planet without end. A cycle of continuous convergence and divergence. The ceaseless ebb and flow that is the life stream. An apt name, though it is as much a reservoir as it is a stream, being the sum of the planet's spiritual energy. It is the very essence of our star. The blood coursing through its planetary veins. And, if ever that essence were to be entirely depleted... Oh. 
Wow, that's a really intense illustration right there. Ended on a somber note. Of course, these are but basic principles of planetology. So you're saying that Mako is spiritual energy, which we're using up? Just so. Siphoned from the planet and processed for industry, that energy can no longer fulfill its true purpose. It is fated to fuel man's machinery, then fade away. Okay, but does it actually fade away? I mean, what if it doesn't? What if it just returns to the life stream in a different form? Is that possible? A novel theory, suggestive of a lack of understanding. Hmm. However, that can be overcome with time and education. I don't think Tifa's gonna be very happy with this guy You're by right. the end of this. <laughs> Please escort this young lady to our seminar room, would you? Right this way. Okay. Hey, can I come? Poor Tifa. <laughs> yeah, he's being a little condescending. Bogenhagen. I don't know if I really enjoy your attitude right now. Don't talk to my girl like that. Got a question. Why are you such Planet a bitch? Planet runs out of energy. Just kidding. It and everything on it dies, right? Yes. Is there any way to avoid this? Like, making the spiritual energy stronger? Why are you asking me such things? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've come to realize that I'm somewhat stuck in the past. We've entered an era in which humanity exerts unprecedented influence over its environs. And as both the planet and society evolve, so too must science. And yet it seems that I cannot. Perhaps I'm much too old of a dog to learn any new tricks. Hmm. Was my explanation of planetology not to your liking? Perhaps a seminar would provide a more agreeable experience. It's just your tone of voice, sir. Your attitude. Don't yell at me again, okay? I, okay, so I feel like this Bugenhagen seems different from the Bugenhagen that I remember from the OG, who was very, like, had a very positive aura about him, albeit grave, you know, but hopeful. And this guy right here seems it seems like he's kind of already given up like i've already tried everything i've already you know racked my brains i don't see a way to rectify or salvage the situation and he views people like tifa as like his younger self and I'm just making shit up here, <laughs> but I just the vibes I'm getting is like, yeah, he's very bitter. He's like he's upset, not necessarily at, at Tifa for trying or, or Cloud for trying to come up with ways to save the planet. But I think he already has it in his mind that it's just not going to happen. And um, yeah, if that makes any sense. He's like very frustrated with the the state of things. Thanks so much for taking such great care of Nanaki for us. 
Fellow Bugenhagen instructed me to let you take anything you think might prove useful on your journey. Check out the storeroom when you have a chance. I knew I'd get your valuables one way or another. Let's see what we got. Man, their storeroom is a treasure trove of really cool stuff, too. <gasps> Look, is that. Uh, is that baby Nanaki and. Oh, what was the dad's name? Sato. Sato? Oh, Sato. Seto, Mufasa. <laughs> Seto, okay. Little family picture. What time is it? 8 11? Oof. Okay, maybe we should stop here. Dang it, I want to keep going though. just stop playing this game in the middle of Cosmo Canyon wow I thought this was gonna be one little tiny room there's a whole lot of stuff down here Man, and I thought Bugenhagen's like observatory was very uh, detailed and took a lot of time to build. They went all out down here too. Did we loop around or? This is another spot. Right this way. Blessings of the planet upon you. <sighs> I guess we should stop here. 